Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about Gavi, right? Because I do think that right now it is a very important time to talk about this player because I do want to clarify what Lucho, who is also named Luis Enrique, did say after the match between Spain and Portugal and how he was highly speaking about Gavi. And then I'm also going to be clarifying the current contract situation for this player. And then in another phase within this video, we're also going to be speaking about his level, right? Regarding again, the game between Spain and and Portugal because I do think that within this game Gavi has really shown a lot of qualities and it's very again important to speak about this because I know that right now we are in the midst of Gavi's contract renewal now look I regularly do not really speak on friendlies because sometimes I just say okay like we're just going to be seeing these players probably play like 50% of their capacity and that's basically it but within this game between Portugal and Spain they did not really look like they were playing a friendly they were really trying to give it their all and yes I do know that this is the nation league but the only real competitive international competitions out there for me in my own opinion it is the world cup and the euros and that's basically it when it comes to the nation's league i'm just like okay this is just for the preparation of whatever else they're going to be doing later down the line but look gavi was amazing versus portugal he showed his physicalness he showed his dribbling skills his passing skills the amount of impact gavi has been having with the spanish national team is very similar to what pedri did within his first like eight months with spain and and I do believe that right now Spain is very fortunate to have Pedri and Gavi play within this team and emerge at the same time. And then we have also seen Pedri and Gavi form a very great partnership, a very great friendship. It's very solid. But there are two specific things that really did impress me the most when it comes to Gavi's play against Portugal. And that's going to be this. If we look at this picture here, and this is going to be point number one. We look at this, and this is exactly where Portugal almost got their early goal. And you can see that one of the left backs or wingers from Portugal easily passes through Aspilicueta. You can see that Liao is in the middle of the box. Nobody is marking him. And you can see that Alba is there. You can see that Pau Torres is there. Llorente, Aspilicueta, Sarabia, Soler. And you can see Busquets. All of those players are surrounding that forward there, that winger, which is Liao, which is horrible defending, by the way. And then on the far right, you can see that Gavi is the one that's the farthest away from Liao. And let me ask you guys this. Out of all of these players that we are seeing here, who do you think was the only player that got close towards Liao before he did take that shot. No, it was not Busquets. No, it was not Alba. No, it was not Llorente, Aspilicueta, Sarabia, Soler. It was Gavi. Gavi was the player that got the closest to him and almost actually blocked his shot through a tackle. You can just see that Gavi was the one that was hustling, running as fast as he can to block that shot so Spain cannot concede. It really just makes you like ask, right? Like what were those other players doing? These little things, right? They don't necessarily get caught by other analysts. Like these little things does show you a lot of what type of character Gavi really is. He does give a lot defensively and this picture, these frames here are showing why. This is also the reason on why Gavi does get those starts for Barcelona and does get that start for Spain. And then moving on towards the second thing that I really did like from Gavi's game against Portugal and that's going to be this, his dribbling, right? That dribble that he did make going across the pitch, making that pass towards Sarabia was phenomenal because the fact that he was able to beat his man in game possession of the ball go down quickly to the final third and make that pass to Sarabia that was world class like are you kidding me like the pass right the excellent pass coming from Gavi was amazing the speed of the ball the execution the composure on his body the fact that the ball did not go too slow or too fast it was just so perfect Gavi knows exactly what to do with the ball this is one of the reasons on why Spain were able to score that one goal and that's what's going to lead me towards the next phase of this video because now I do want to speak about what Luis Enrique did say about Gavi and this is going to be connecting with the points that I did make when it comes to what really did impress me the most on Gavi's game against Portugal so let me explain one thing when it comes to Luis Enrique because he did say something about Gavi and many have been mistranslating it and I'm going to be translating it for you guys so you guys can see exactly what he actually did say in that post-match press conference and so this is what he said and I quote Gavi he is a very unknown player in Spanish football Gavi is not just a runner, someone who just battles for the ball, someone who just defensively shows a very top level. What he is also is a very great player from a offensive standpoint. With the ball, he is great. He is special. He is a pure interior. He knows how to receive between the lines. He knows how to make that last pass and he does have goals within him. And at the age of 18 years old, he is unique. And so the fact that Luis Enrique did say that not only is he great defensively and also great offensively, this also does correlate 
gravitate towards the points that I did make when it comes to the two things that did impress me the most. What Gavi did on the first point, which is making that slide tackle in the box against Liao and then making that run and that great pass to Sarabia, those are two different players. Like the way that Gavi made that run to the final third, that was Iniesta. The way that Gavi made that slide tackle inside the box to Liao, that was Macherano, that was Gattuso. So he shows two different players, two different sides of him. And Luis Enrique really wanted the fan base to know that, to say he is not just good at this specific thing defensively. He's also great on the ball. He can give so much. He's very similar to someone like Iniesta or like a Xavi. And let me tell you, the moment this player does finally mature and he grows within like one to two years and he's around the age of like 19, 20, 21 years old, the moment he finally has that momentum where he can consistently find those final third passes, those through passes, the final pass throughout a 90 minute time frame, he is going to be a complete monster, my friends. I do think that he does have a ceiling where he can reach a Iniesta level and defensively, hopefully like a Macherano level or a Gattuso level. And then moving on towards his contract and the renewal, it does say here, according to Fabrizio Romano, and this is just in, he has said, and I quote, Gavi's agent, Ivan de la Peña, has finally received a new contract official proposal from Barcelona after a long standby. This has also been confirmed by Moises Llorens. Then he continues to say that talks will enter into key stages in the coming days after optimistic feelings in the last meeting. So look, I know that many are nervous. Even I am starting to get very nervous right now when it comes to the renewal because in that interview that John Laporta did have a few days ago, maybe about nine days ago, Laporta was basically explaining that the agent of Gavi is trying to compare other contracts, other proposals coming from other clubs. So let's say for example, like Liverpool or maybe someone like Man City, maybe Bayern. And that is the reason why it has been on standby. Barcelona, on the other hand, were saying, okay, if you're going to be doing that, let me see if we can do something else. Maybe we can improve the contract just a little and maybe you guys would finally accept it. And so when you look at this whole thing, you're like, okay, this looks very similar to the situation of Dembele, where the agent is saying, okay, I, I want to compare other offers. I, I see better offers over here coming from PSG or Liverpool or City. Let me just put off Barcelona for a few months and let me talk to these other clubs. So it's very, it's a very similar feeling, right? When it comes to Gavi's renewal. And let me tell you guys, losing Gavi with Barcelona, right? If Barcelona lose this player, it would be a historical mistake. Like, I just do not want to see Laporta and Mateo Laman treat Gavi's case the same as like Dembele. Like when it comes to Gavi, they better do everything that they can to renew this player because this is the future. This is what Barcelona need to have within their midfield. It's what's going to get them to that next phase. And so let's see, right? Now seeing that Barcelona have made that new proposal and put that proposal on the table for Gavi's agent to renew, we should expect to see maybe hopefully an answer by tomorrow in a couple of hours. And finally hear that Gavi will be renewing until like 2027 or 2028. We really do want to see that. It has been a very, very long time on waiting for this player to renew. And let's see what does happen in a few hours. Whatever does happen, we are going to be talking about it here in this YouTube channel. That is going to be wrapping up today's Barcelona daily news. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are new here, welcome to the channel. Please like, subscribe, comment, and I will see you guys in the next video. Yeah.